I have my Roomba 530 opened here, and I've actually gotten to the source of the bad crystal oscillator that's in here. At the moment, it's working fine. But, when I touch the oscillator, my little pinky, the speaker goes pop, and then... The CPU will slow down, but when I switch it off, it takes longer this time, but goes to normal speed again. So yeah, I found out I can manipulate the CPU's clock speed. And uh, that is how you make your Roomba drunk, essentially. <laughs> so yeah, that's the oscillator right there. It's got some weird gunk on it. Maybe that's why it's failed, because it's got all that weird gunk on it. And... But what I found out was, when I opened it up first, the pins were just about touching each other. So, my guess is that in the factory, some rumor models were shipped where the oscillator was shorting out, and that's why they were all acting weird. But now I've turned it on and turned it off again. It's fine. And yeah, this is basically the insides of a Roomba. And uh, yeah, this is like the little face cover thing that just pops on here. And it goes on this part here. There we are, it's in position now. Yeah, and that's the little speaker that makes the sounds. It's a little, I think it's like a, either a one and a half inch mylar. It's a similar speaker to what you get inside headphones, really. So, yeah. That is how you, um, diagnose... What's actually causing your Roomba to get drunk? Well, in correct terminology there, I should say what causes the CPU to slow down. And it's that little chrome cylinder right there. That is your culprit. So yeah, that's it.